all of you students or maybe other kinds of nerds or freaks of electronics. Today we are going to discuss about operational amplifiers. Those are kind of basic building blocks for uh, connecting uh, analog circuitry in a reasonably simple way. We are going to discuss about what are the amplifiers used for. Uh, the unit of decibel used to describe the level of amplification. Uh, we are going to dis discuss about the purpose of the feedback loop and how this feedback loop are used for, for uh, making analog circuitry in a way that we want it. Uh, the ideal model of an operational amplifier makes it much more simpler to analyze analog circuitry. And we are going to start with presenting the non-inverting amplifier circuit. So, yeah, I think most of you know that amplifiers are used to amplify the power, the sound power from a guitar, like in this picture. And this is kind of a block-based sch schematic symbol of an amplifier that has an input voltage, small one, uh, and a much, much, usually much larger output signal. And the amplifier then increases the magnitude of the signal by multiplying the input signal with a constant of Fv. And this uh, uh, transformation is a linear transformation uh, in the ideal case such that we have a, almost a perfect linearity between the input level of signals and the output level of signals. In terms of a general measurement system that are made out of sensor, amplifier, filter, A to D converter, and uh, uh, at the back end you have uh, digital signal processing that are connected further to maybe a industrial control system or display unit or whatever. But in this kind of context I would say that mostly the amplifiers and the analog amplifiers are used for for uh, amplifying the level of the signal that comes from the sensor. Uh, and the level of the amplification in the amplifier are often uh, described using the decibel unit uh, as a, an alternative to just mm, describing it uh, using a number of uh, the level, the number level of, of amplification. And for the amplifier's example, uh, it is used to describe the relation between the output signal and the input signal. And this uh, quote, uh, you compute the tenth logarithm and then multiply with the number of the constant of 20. This is relevant uh, when you are uh, comparing the input and output voltage. But then on the other hand, if you are comparing the input and output power, as in this case, then you are changing the constant to 10. And this uh, will have the effect that the decibel will give the same result if you're comparing the uh, voltages or if you are comparing the power amplification. If we add a feedback loop to the operational amplifier, we can improve its linearity and we can also improve its bandwidth. But maybe most of all, uh, and the most important property is that we make the amplifier and its uh, its behavior to be more dependent on its external component rather than the amplifier element itself. That is the whole idea. So let me show you this. Um, here we see an, an amplifier that has a amplification AV and it amplifies the signals, different signals between those, those two input terminals <coughs> and uh, uh, gives the output voltage on the output terminal. And what we are seeking here is for the, the whole circuitry's amplification FV, which is the output voltage divided by the input voltage. 
and we have here also a feedback network that we call beta that we can assume is a kind of a passive network that feedbacks the feeds a, a small portion of the output signal back to the input again on the negative terminal we can continue to analyze this circuit um, and uh, then the output voltage uh, is supposed to be the amplification AV of the uh, amplifier elements itself multiplied with the input voltage minus beta this factor beta uh, times the output voltage uh, we rearrange this uh, equation such that we have the output signal on one side and the input signal on the other side which then allows us to compute the voltage amplification which is the output signal divided by the input signal is AV uh, 1 plus AV times beta and then we can say that this is our end expression the expression for the the voltage amplification of the whole circuitry that is dependent on the operational amplifier element here as well as also the beta the feedback network uh, but let us now assume that we uh, increase the amplification AV such that it approaches approaches infinity uh, we have a, a limit uh, when AV approaches infinity and if we look at the denominator part of this quote we can understand that if we increase uh, AV to infinity then uh, we can neglect this element 1 which then reduces uh, the voltage amplification to 1 uh, divided by beta which is then only dependent on the external uh, network beta and not dependent on the actual voltage amplification itself in the amplifier uh, so we can conclude that the amplification in this circuit is determined by the external passive components we assume that this uh, feedback network beta is made out of passive components and not by the amplifier uh, itself Uh, then this leads us to uh, an ideal model of the operational amplifier and for this one we can say that the ideal model has an infinite amplification as we assume in our previous uh, analysis of the circuitry and we can also assume that the <coughs> input currents the leakage currents on the input terminals are zero which means that the input impedance here is uh, approaching infinity and the output impedance of the amplifier is zero thus the output has then an unlimited capability of drive, uh, driving currents I think now we are ready to analyze our first circuitry of uh, operational amplifier and external passive uh, components and my thinking here is that I would like to use the uh, ideal model for an operational amplifier except that we assume uh, uh, that it has a limited amplification AV and the idea is that I would like to develop the expression for the voltage uh, amplification of the circuitry and then go back and compare it with the previous uh, general development for uh, uh, amplification circuitry with the feedback loop to show you this, uh, the, the similarity between these two different developments. So what we see here is uh, the operational amplifier that has this limited amplification AV. This is the exception from the ideal um, um, operational amplifier model. And the task is here now to determine the voltage amplification FV uh, of this circuit here. So we start on the next page um, and we can start with the uh, definition of that this difference voltage between the two input terminals must be the output voltage divided by the uh, uh, voltage amplification of the operational amplifier 
uh, I think that makes sense. Uh, and then secondly, we can say that uh, uh, this voltage U2 here, that voltage must be uh, the output voltage uh, divided over this resistor network. So this expression here corresponds to the law of voltage division uh, uh, with respect to the input voltage of, of uh, the circuit output voltage actually. <laughs> and uh, the uh, uh, voltage over the uh, R2 will then correspond to this expression that we see here. <coughs> And then if we uh, apply the first Kirchhoff voltage law uh, on this uh, loop here, then you have the input voltage minus the difference voltage between those uh, input terminals of the operation amplifiers, UD, and then minus U2 uh, is equal to zero, and we solve for UD. And in the next step, uh, we uh, make a substitution for u2 in this equation and input this expression and we end up in the equation number three that looks like this. Now it is possible to combine these two equations number one and number three into this equation. Uh, on the left side we have equation number three and on the right side we have e uh, equation Sorry, uh, on the uh, right side you have equation number three and on the left side you have equation number one. Uh, we can now continue and solve for the output voltage and the input voltage on uh, separate sides of this equation because this will then allow us to compute the voltage uh, amplification in the next step which is the division of the output voltage divided by the input voltage and that will end up in this expression that is our end expression for the voltage amplification of this circuitry. And we can see here that it is dependent on the, the row amplification of the operational amplifier as well as also the feedback network as kind of expected. We can continue on the next uh, slide. And then my question to you is that if you look at this expression here, don't you think that this looks a little bit like uh, familiar if you refer back to the, the, the general development of uh, the feedback loop and its impact on the amplification? And I think uh, if you look at this expression and this expression, we can make an identification of the different terms of this expression and we can make a conclusion that this beta here, that must correspond to this network, this voltage division. So the feedback loop here, that corresponds to these two resistors. Thus, uh, we can surely conclude now that it is the external resistors that defines the uh, amplification of the circuitry. Uh, and resistors, they can be uh, produced in high volumes uh, with very high accuracy and, and uh, good precision. So if you think about the scenario that we are producing a large volume of circuit boards, uh, then the onboard amplification, uh, analog amplification can be defined very accurately using uh, external resistors. It wouldn't be possible otherwise uh, using just the precision of uh, the amplification of the active component, the operational amplifier itself. Yeah.